Brian. And I'm Kent. And this is The, the Best Parts. Parts. The show where we take you back to last week and show you what happened at Youth Group. Right. And we're going to kick us off with busting out the towels with Water Wars. <laughs> War. Yeah. Man, I got so wet during that game, Ooh. and I let a lot of people down. I didn't. I didn't. Anyway, a little, little behind-the-scenes story for uh-huh. you. Joey told us to bring an extra change of clothes. That he did. I did do that. You know what I didn't bring? What? I didn't bring any underwear. And you know what you did? You dumped a whole cup of water in my lap, making the rest of the night very uncomfortable for me. That is so highly unfortunate. I really didn't have to use it, because I'm just that good. <laughs> Uncalled for. That's okay, because what's next is worship, where we made acrostic poems for the live stream the other day, where we used the word youth. Y-O-U-T-H. And we're going to share a clip of what Joy shared his. Can you, can you run a clip? Roll the clip. So I pray this, you, Lord, are my king, my God, my deliverer, my all, my provider. Over everything else, God, you reign. Only you get my heart and my soul my mind, my body. Lovely. Thank you, Joy. Wherever you. Uh, Joy is, exactly. They can't see him, can't. Anyways, Joy encouraged us on Wednesday to share in the comment section what we had wrote in the acrostic poems. That would be lovely. But if you don't, you know, it's fine. You don't absolutely have to. But it's kind of the courage, but she don't. Ha- can't go ahead. Like, yeah. Last week, along with the worship, we also had a lesson. Yeah. A lovely lesson brought to us in part by yours truly, <laughs> Mr. Dorian Cushingberry <laughs> right, here. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I got a question for you. Okay. How fast do you think that you can recap last week's lesson? I think I can recap it pretty fast. Yeah. So I think I can do it faster. Hey, so it was this guy named Jesus. You know, him and his parents, you know, went to this temple, you know, and, and he was there for a couple days because they left him. They left him there. So he was there for like three days. Now, keep in mind, Jesus, he's like 12 years old at this time. A little young, a little young. Anyways, he's there, you know, chilling with, with the people at the temple, you know, as they he's answering questions. They asking them. They like, whoa, he can answer questions like this. Look at him, boy. Right? All right, fast forward three days later. His parents come back. They worried about him. They scared. They're like, hey, yo, Jesus, where you been at? He's like, hey, I've been chilling in my father's house talking about my father god okay now fast forward a little bit later you know we talk about other people in the bible that are also youngins that made a difference with making time for god just like jesus did at that time people like david you got miriam you got josiah you know all those people made a difference with god and even at a young age and we can do the same thing that's it does it that's it you don't want to keep going? No, no, no. It's, it's on you. It's on you now. All right. Beat that. Beat that. I will beat that. Okay, let's see. Jesus was young. He did the thing. We are young. We can do the thing. Mic drop. That's definitely a tie. Definitely a tie. No. Not I, even close. I think, I think we had the same amount of time not, in describing this, the, even, the story. Not even a little bit. Uh, <laughs> And we wouldn't be looking back if we didn't look back into the conversation that we had while all this was going on. So now it is time for the, the best comments. First up, while we were starting things off, mm-hmm. getting things figured out. Right, right, right. Jasmine dropped this little line on us. Uh-huh. She said, anyone want to play rock, paper, sharp knife? Jasmine? What do you mean by that? Huh? What? Anyway, next up, Man. Joey Jackson had this comment. He said this, I, I, I missed the last three minutes. What happened? And then our final comment uh-huh. is right around the time when we were starting our acrostic poem, Spelling Out Youth, our wonderful Miss Mary yeah. asks us, can I have some paper, Joey? Absolutely, you yes. can. Yes. It will be here in the teen house or maybe at the building. Yeah. We don't know. In the morning. In the morning. Please and thank you. Cut. And to top all of that off, we got announcements for y'all. We're going to be going through them pretty fast, so keep up with us. First, we got snow tubing. Okay. It's postponed. COVID happened. You yeah. know, we'll let you know. Yeah. Next. Next up, Winterfest, February the 18th to the 20th. You know, be here. Be us at the church, okay? Sunday morning classes, 930. Guys class, girls class. Be here. 
Wednesday nights, 6 p.m. to 7.45. It's going to have fun. It's going to be games, worship time, and learning Bible lessons are going to be prepared. Okay? Be there. It's going to be great. Anything else, Kent? Yes. Last announcement. This show, it's happening. It's supposed to be happening on Fridays, but this time it's a little different because it's the first one. Yeah. You know, it's going to happen on Fridays for the rest of the time. You can see us next week on The Best, Best Parts. Parts.